in this section, uh, it's going to lower down a tiny bit. And when I place the paint on the canvas like that, on the panel, um, if there's a color next door, a pile of paint that I don't want to go in to my mixture, I'll make sure that I'm pushing things in the direction that I want to, uh, you know, push the dirty pigment out of the way. So let's say if I take a lighter color and this is a shadow that's existing, so the light comes out and creates surface form on this, on this petal. I want to put down a clean stroke here but then the pressure of my brush stroke, I'm going to go back and I'm going to lift up the pressure of the brush stroke and I'm going to pull the paint into the shadow so it creates a little bit of form there. So as you're going, kind of building this thing, you're thinking two-dimensionally but at the same time you're wanting to kind of arrange the paint in a way that you're pushing sections into one another and you're, you're kind of taking into consideration the idea that, okay, if it's in the shadow, it has to be uh, more transparent. And as it gets up into that light, then I can take advantage of it and just pile the paint on and make it super opaque. So like I say, that, that section uh, it comes down into the shadow. I want to lift up the brush and lift up the brush here kind of carving out this try to find my edge here of this one so this is part of the English rose all right so I'm gonna keep dragging the paint now when I come across when I go to my left and I make that bigger um, I'm going to just kind of drag the paint on so it creates texture. There's a bunch of petals that are overlapping in this section. See how if I put a stroke down, it leaves a bunch of marks? I like that because there's, there's variation in the stroke. Uh, come over here, I'm going to lighten up a little bit more. So this is where it's catching the shadow there. This is receiving a little bit more light. But then in nature, there's a shadow here. But if you never uh, see nature and you're just looking at my painting, my shadow looks like it's to the left. So by just kind of putting that uh, brush stroke down, I'm not going to necessarily adjust that just because in nature the shadow is right here because it's creating an effect that there's a shadow existing a little bit to the left. So there's stuff that all um, because I'm really interested in keeping it fresh and uh, the brushwork is really important to me that if I have accidents that look like effects that are occurring in nature, then I'll just run with it and um, I'll leave that slight adjustment because I know I know what's happening up there and if I like something then I'll just keep it. I'm grabbing a lot of raw umber and a little bit of cobalt blue, a little bit of burnt umber. Just try to figure out the distance going across the table line. This looks about right. So you can see by um, different ways of manipulating the paint on the canvas, if I want a dark, I can do a solid brush stroke, right? But if the light is coming and hitting that, and I just want to make an indication of a little bit more of the pattern of light that's coming into this picture, then I can just kind of lift it back up and play around with uh, some transparent washes, in a sense, searching for 
the feeling that I want. This is not the color that I'm seeing, but again, I'm just building up a, a layer that I'll eventually paint over.